Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. As I'm traveling to Sweden this weekend, I thought that for this week's video I could show you what's in my travel backpack and give you some travel organization tips. This is the backpack I use for traveling. It is the Fjellraven Konken. I hope I pronounced that right with a 13 inch laptop compartment. In the front pocket, I keep small items that I might need quickly, so they are easy to find without opening the entire backpack. And the first item I have is just a pack of gum. Then I have this sealable bag with hand cream and hand sanitizer in it. At least in my country, you can only bring small amounts of liquids on an airplane, and you need to have them in a bag like this when you go through security. So a tip is to keep the bag and use it the next time you're flying so that you don't have to go through the process of finding a bag and packing your liquid items every time. Next, I have the rest of my small essentials in this faux leather pouch so that I can easily find them. In here I have, as I've mentioned earlier, small items that I might need quickly and that would be hard to find if they were just lying somewhere in the big compartment. So in here I keep some tissues, some q-tips if I need to fix my eye makeup, some painkillers if I get a headache, a lip balm, and an extra hair tie. Next, I have a power bank in case I need to charge my phone, and I also keep my regular charger, but I still keep my power bank in case there aren't any power outlets available. And that is it for the front compartment. Next up is the main compartment where I keep larger items. And my tip here is to sort your items based on what you're most likely going to need. I always pack for different kinds of weather. Of course you have to consider the climate of the place you're going to so that you don't pack any unnecessary things. But I've packed some sunglasses, some wool mittens cause my hands get cold really easily, and a hat. And they are at the top so I can easily get them if I need any of them when I arrive, but I can still access the items behind them easily. Next I have some headphones so I can listen to music or a podcast without too much background noise. When you are traveling, there might be a lot of waiting involved, and if you're going by airplane, you're gonna want to pack some entertainment that doesn't rely on Wi-Fi. So I always keep a book, and this is the one I'm reading right now, it is The Martian by Andy Weir. On the bottom of the main compartment, I have my laptop charger. It is the item I'm least likely to need, but I still have it with me in case there are a lot of waiting and I would want to use my laptop for a while. Next up, I have some pens and I fasten them to the pocket so I don't lose them um, because pens have a tendency to fall down into the unknown depths of a full backpack so they are impossible to find. And I've also used some washi tape to stick this eraser to my mechanical pencil, so I always know where that is. In here I also have my hard drive in case I want to edit a Sudoku magazine, so I always have something to do, as well as a rather shabby looking deck of cards, so I can play with whoever I'm traveling with. And lastly, I have my planner, which also doubles as a notebook in case I need to write something down. In this side compartment, I have an empty water bottle that I can fill once I've gone through security. And it is so much better than buying water at the airport, which usually is crazy expensive. And in this other compartment, I have an umbrella that I can use if you know, it rains. 
And finally, in the back, I keep my laptop. And that is everything I keep in my backpack while traveling. Though I've probably forgotten something like I usually do. But I hope this video was interesting and that you got some tips for what and how to pack the next time you're traveling. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week with another video.